you doing YouTube? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hope you're having a, a good week so far. Christmas is behind us. New Year's Eve is in front of us, but in the middle we have a Kunst Trading live stream. Not that it's uh, of the same importance, but you know what I mean. We are live here on YouTube. Good you're tuning in during this live stream where Bitcoin has not really done anything in the past uh, couple of hours. So there's not too much to say. I do have a, like some things to say, of course, so we shortly cover it. But all of the info is basically in the previous video, except for what I then shortly cover uh, here. And uh, that means that we do have some time to cover some altcoins as well. Now, talking about altcoins, we will do a voting right in the chat people can vote 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 and then the top coins we just go the list from top down and uh, we'll have a look at those charts right so for now at the moment um i won't yet write down the altcoins that are going to be mentioned because we'll do that later right i first cover what happened on on bitcoin basically locally here and and some of the thoughts from an elliott wave perspective of course and then we go into altcoins and um yeah, do the do the voting, write them down, and uh, check what happens on those on those charts, right? So uh, that is what we're gonna do in this particular live stream, and this is what I have in front of me. So what you see is, of course, the rejection here, very nicely indeed, price moving down, and I added a target box down here, by the way, which is between forty two point three k and forty two point five k for your information. Before we start and move into the waves. What's up, chat? <laughs> Dennis Peters, morgen. Eigenlijk goede middag nu, hè? Middag, middag. Uh, goed dat je er bent. Good to have you here. Flotty, always exciting to have you here as well with all the hearts being spammed nonstop. The moment I see all these orange or other color hearts, you know Flotty is here. Uh, what's up, man? Thar uh, Sar Sarthak Agarwal, not missing live this time like Christmas. Here you are. Welcome, my friend. Of course, t today there's no giveaways, right? It, it will be occasionally, uh, but at least you're here. <laughs> we, of course, I, I was Santa, Santa during Christmas for a little bit. Tim, what's up? How are you doing, man? Probably at work, designing some stuff once again. Gwendy Zhu, how are you doing? Good to have you here as well. Please look for GTO. Yes, I will do a voting and then we'll see what most people vote for right uh hope you've had a great christmas my man i had i actually had so the first christmas eve with my family uh like like close family and the uh, girlfriends of uh, my brothers and my fiance as well second day was only with my fiance at home here and the third day was with my grandma and family so busy schedule busy schedule um up or down, I no longer care. Yeah, a breakout, right, Lucas? A breakout, either above 45 or below 40. Please, please just get it done. Just get it done. <laughs> Holy moly. Um, yo, Bart, what you, what's up? How are you doing? Uh, we're going to do the altcoin voting later. Uh, so I'm going to put on a poll. I'm going to write down what you guys then write down. So not yet. And then uh, we're going to vote. And then the top few, that's the ones I'm going to do till time runs out for this stream, basically. Um, Tim is free till the 8th of Jan. Jeez. Wow. A couple of weeks holiday. What's on your plan for these weeks? Like, what are you actually doing now? Um, taking care of the kids, I suppose. Gabriel Chelari, how are you doing? A lot of traders are looking at the triangle formation. Oh, how do I... I love people looking at triangle formations, but very unlikely are aware of all the triangle rules. Um, so yeah, we can talk about that triangle for a little bit because I am not looking at the triangle. But I also really enjoy fake outs of triangles as well. So that will be interesting. Um, uh, but yeah, the moment you get a fake out, it's not a triangle. The moment you get a fake out, you have to think about a WXY, which is most likely. Uh, usually, th this is the thing. Many people online, definitely not everyone, because there's a couple of very good counters, but they don't really like to go in detail or learn all the, the small rules. And the moment you get a certain shape, oftentimes a triangle is easiest to recognize. So the moment price is behaving in a triangle pattern, everyone is going to pull the trend lines and be like, oh, look, oh, we have a triangle. <laughs> but then when you actually look at the, the rules of the triangle and some of the guidelines of a triangle, 
we have been able on the channel here to identify many not triangles, which eventually result in fake outs of triangles. Uh, so people looking at the triangle instead, WXY or complex corrections are favored, which leads to fake outs and therefore high probability setups as well. Very interesting triangles. I always enjoy seeing many people looking for the triangles online as well. Um, not taking into account all of the Elliott Wave rules. Uma Hayat, what's up? How are you doing? Welcome here as well. So yeah, we're definitely going to cover that, uh, Gabriel. I like your question here. Mirko Bersena, how are you doing? Um, Mirko, the, you, you got to re reply to my email. That was it. Because I, I don't know which Mirko you are in Discord. I know you're in Diamond uh, in, the, in the Telegram, but I don't know where you are in, which one you are in Discord. So I send you an email back asking which of the two Mirkos you are. Um, so yeah, let me know. Tim Bourbon finishing the bathroom by email, of course, by, because I, I won't remember from the chat here, probably. Finishing the bathroom remodel. Ooh, busy time, busy time. Pop Alive, what's up? We're bouncing on the 302, building divergence in 15 minutes. Yes, but we also have bearish CVD divergences. We could get another leg up in C to get to 45k. Not really sure where, oh, like this, A, B, C. Yes, that is one of the scenarios. Uh, that is true indeed. We have bullish EVD divergences, also bearish. And you can see my famous two lines on the chart. So, okay. Pop alive. Christian, looking forward to the gold group. Yeah, you got to send me an email, my friend. The people that haven't yet sent me an email, uh, as mentioned at the end of the previous stream, is SR Trader 007 for silver, Honey Althwap for silver, Christian M for gold, Joa, uh, Joao Luis for gold, and Mirko Bresserna, you're already in Telegram, but I need to add you for diamond in, uh, in Discord. Oh, Discord not working. Well, if you make a brand new account, then there's a three-day waiting timer basically to enter the group because it's against scammers okay that being said um guys we're gonna uh, it's coons trading at outlook.com that's the email uh with your youtube username discord username telegram username okay let's get this going so everyone that has seen the morning update video we're not gonna cover pretty much anything that was mentioned then i will only cover a little bit of this structure here because price hasn't really done anything spectacular or you know any nothing really changed compared to what we spoke about in the morning but a few things right so i will mention those few things we're not going to zoom out all the way and and all that stuff for the people that just joined if you want to know the scenarios that i keep an eye on in this range over here right and the highest probability scenarios that we're looking for as well, or like from a range perspective, but also here more locally and even here even more locally from the low time frame to the micro to the local counts. Check out the previous update video that I posted about like what, six, seven hours ago, right? Because in this particular video uh, live stream, we're going to mainly focus on alts as well and only shortly cover some of the new thoughts uh, that I have based on the price action locally. And that's that, right? So what I want to share with you, first of all, again, is uh, saying that I do, I, I have added a small tar target box here because we have uh, so basically a, a support level, right? We have the daily here. Now I've shown this daily for quite a while. Uh, or quite a while it's actually quite a recent daily but i shared it in the, like this morning it was visible 42 5k right but there's also here a small point of control of the range and we have the golden pocket from the low to the high so i thought hey there's a couple of confluences interesting area i will mark it so that is exactly what i've done above price we have this daily at 44k so that is for me the nearest support resistance areas basically this resistance here was a resistance area that we've kept an eye on right as price was moving to the upside we were looking for this to be hit very very nicely respected bearish cvd divergences at the highs that is also what we like to see and more locally we can either look at a wxy finished or one two three four five finished in this case higher probability a five wave move would then potentially be finished and we are correcting and what were we looking for in all of the different structures we were looking for a retracement and then we have to wait on the structure of the retracement to get to the probabilities locally because the more most bearish scenario would be uh, a wave b in and c down the problem here as mentioned 
is, or not necessarily problem, but what's not nice, lowering probabilities, is that the high over here has been made before the 0 0.382 FIB time of A compared with B. So B is very short. Preferably, you like to see B in after the 0 0.382, but this is before lowering probabilities. And also, if this is already your first structure for a B and then a bigger three-wave structure, it already went to the 786 Fibonacci taken from the high to the low. So not great, right? But we were looking for a retracement. Very nice. This scenario over here, three-wave structure, ABC, zigzag to the upside. What were we were looking for? We were looking for a retracement from this target box to the downside. And then based on the retracement, we can assess probabilities for a potential move up. Where preferably in this scenario, we're still looking for a larger corrective structure here, a bigger sideways range, basically, because of the length in time of this wave A. Take a fib time from the low to the high of this wave A over here. Toggle on some stuff. And you can see it's still quite a short, let's see the three a time, yeah, the low is made before the three a two fib time at the moment, so preferably price is going to continue ranging for a while, and that's also the reason why in this stream we're going to be looking in some altcoins because basically what we're looking for is more ranging to come of course this price is if price just does this that, that's fine no um but uh yeah that's currently with the high already in over b and then the c down not really high probability at the moment uh and for this scenario we look for a continuation of the range preferably for wave b we're also still then looking for a continuation of the range and for the most bullish scenario we are also still looking for a continuation of the range uh, because this is your most common target area for two and then a one two continuation to the upside let all the bullish cvd divergences play out and who knows how far we then go in that bullish scenario right so yeah that is basically what we're looking for locally of course the most bearish scenario would be a wave one to the downside two and you look for a three to the downside at the moment uh, also not the highest probabilities and also here preferably we are still looking for a continuation of the local range no so you can see there's there's uh, there's different scenarios but they all lead to the same conclusion at the moment right where we just expect price to still continue ranging where this target box would be very interesting support to see how price reacts if it gets here if it moves below this target area meaning below 42.3k then we could be looking for lower prices where we have the next target box down here starting at 41.3k to 41 okay more locally here we do have some divergences and this is important because what many people undoubtedly are looking at are the bullish CVD divergences here, but you also have bearish CVD divergences here more locally and also when price was moving to the downside here. Let me quickly open Discord so that I can show it with the drawings. So on the three minute here, this is what we saw. This was on the three minute time frame as price was coming down. Yes, if you zoom out, bullish CVD divergences but then you zoom into the three minute earlier this morning and this is what we were seeing lower high price higher high higher high lower high price higher high on yellow here also red candles CVD moving up right bearish CVD divergences and this is the current status lower high on price higher high yellow and blue but also the bigger bullish CVD divergence but the red one is more local so what am I looking for this red one either being invalidated by price moving up or played out by price moving to the downside. So here we have bearish CVD, either looking for the high to be taken or the low to be taken. Another thing is that if we are looking for an impulse to the downside here, without going to the five minute and the three minute time frames to see what happened here as well, this looks on the three minute very three wavy, but you never know, you know, on the lower time frames. So on the 15 to make things just easy if we would be looking for an impulse to the downside in a one two three four five potentially a bigger zigzag or you know a bigger one two who knows but the 0 0.618 is important in that case because that would invalidate a wave four which is the only reason why i have these two fibs on my chart pulled from the high to the low over here toggle on the 05618 Reason being, the 05 is the max target for a wave 4, the 618 is the invalidation. So if price would move to the upside, invalidate the bearish CVD divergences, it's the 0 0.618, 43.3k, then a potential impulse to the downside gets lower probabilities, 
increases probabilities for price to continue ranging or moving to the upside to take the high at a later stage, right? Basically, higher probabilities that the move down is corrective. And if the probabilities are higher for the move down to be corrective, it automatically increases probabilities for price to move back towards the upside at a later stage, right? Because if this would be impulsive to the downside, we could be potentially looking for a one, two, three to the downside, no? So that is something I'm looking for. That's the reason why these fibs are on the chart. Currently over here, this move to the downside has the highest amount of volume in the low. Always interesting when that happens. No, not taking into account this volume here as that was part of this high volume top that we have here. But if we look at this move to the downside, if this would be a wave three here to the downside, right? Currently highest volume is in the low. So what are we looking for? If we are looking for an impulse, one, two, three, four, five, preferably another low to be made on lower volume, four, five volume lower. If price moves to the downside, but volume is increasing, we might be looking for a one, two, one, two, three, or we get a one, two and a bigger three to the downside, right? But that at the moment is not yet the case because we are ranging here and not down here. So we don't yet have that information. Now, if price does move to the downside here and the bearish CVD divergences play out, then keep in mind what I wrote here as well. So you can also stop uh, the, the video for a second, but I'll read it out loud. This is what I wrote in, uh, in silver here. I said, uh, blah, 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 blah. so if price takes the low meaning this low here right the local low if price takes the low i prefer to see the local bullish cvd divergences meaning a new low is made then we get a bounce and a retracement right compared to this one this one on the screenshot from an Elliott wave perspective also what i like to see is then having a bounce local support move up move down bullish cvd locally instead of these bigger ones the reason is because of the bearish cvd on the three minute we had while price was moving down here and the bearish one we have here so each bounce so far or little bounce is met with cvd bearish cvd divergences and not bullish cvd divergences right so that's something that i want to keep my eye on um, for the probability so at the moment as it stands here locally, probabilities would be higher to move to the downside and take the low as long as price does not take this high or reaches the 0 0.618 before taking the low. So yeah, this is currently um, some of the stuff that I am looking for on Bitcoin for, again, for the whole overview of this range and the probabilities and everything we're looking for. Make sure to check out the previous video. It's only 10 minutes uh, where I cover basically everything that we look for inside of this range. And more locally, of course, here, we are just looking for, at the moment, a continuation of the range in this area here. Price breaks this target box. Well, we're going to be looking for lower, no? Uh, but at the moment, we are just being patient and we are waiting for price to show what it wants to do with the scenarios that we have in mind, right? So, yeah. Ta-da! <clears throat> so let's see. I do have an alarm below this low here, right? So uh, it's interesting to see what happens if price moves to the downside. And I also have an alarm. Where is this one? Actually, don't know. If, oh, it's, it's at the um, the bearish CVD pivot. In case the, these would be invalidated, so I just want to know. I'm, I'm like, I'm just. Inter I'm not interested in where we are here. I'm just interested in: Are we going to take the high or are we going to take the low? We don't know. We are patient and uh, we'll wait and see. We got a bit of support here as well. So that's right. Okay. What we're going to do now is jump into the alts and i'll explain in a second how we are gonna determine what altcoins we do <clears throat> uh what's up Wati? by the way how are you doing i <laughs> completely missed your message sorry man good to have you here again um these days i am around with family and that should be your absolute priority my friend so take it easy no problem no problem do asap as you should <laughs> uh, when does a movement stop being a five wave impulse to become a WXYXZ? A WXYXZ is only used if all other scenarios fail. Reason being, a WXY is a rare structure. 
you do not see a W, X, Y, X, Z very often. It's very rare to see these, especially on the higher time frames. The higher time frame you go, the more rare uh, things like W, X, Y, X, Z, both a triple zigzag as well as the sideways double combo. Also, uh, running flats, right? Uh, expanding structures like an expanding diagonal or an expanding triangle are very rare as well. So, with those scenarios, you're always going to be looking for other structures first before thinking about W, X, Y, X, Z. So, when we look at an impulse versus a W, X, Y, X, Z, it's always going to be an impulse, like always. And only like the moment an impulse is invalidated, for example, if we're looking for a five wave structure here, yeah, potential impulse, one, two, three, four, five, right? But if price is moving up and hits the 0 0.618, we'll be looking for this being a three wave structure, preferably, right? That's then a higher probability. And then we have to wait patiently. Uh, yeah, the probabilities automatically change. If this becomes a three wave corrective structure, probabilities generally are higher to look for this high being taken, unless it's a zigzag and you go in a bigger diagonal, but it's too early to call because you only have one move down. So that's how probabilities always switch. So just as an imagination for people to understand probabilities in Elliott waves as well, right? We have a move to the downside here. Now, if price would move up and hits the 0 0.618 currently, we could have a five wave impulsive down here move. We have bearish CVD as well, possible. But if price moves to the 0 0.618, so currently, by the way, probabilities are higher to continue ranging. And more locally with this move, we are patient. But if price now moves up without taking the low to the 0 0.618, probabilities increase. This is a three-wave move, which increases probabilities of this high being taken at a later stage, because it's a corrective structure to the downside. Now, the only way it changes is if this becomes a wave one, two, three, four, five the moment your four is in in a diagonal structure that is when we think about oh wait instead of price taking this high off like that's the probability when this is a three-way structure and price would move up the moment you get a shape like this after this low over here probabilities are going to be neutral because now we want to see what is this structure going to be right and of course, after you then have like one, two, three, oh no, wait, after four, after this move here, that is when probabilities become neutral between moving above the high or moving to lower prices because we might also have a one, two, and then a three down. So that is why I tend to update multiple times a day as well because there's always new information and therefore probabilities are always moving, right? It's not stable. On the higher time frames, medium time frame, 12 hour daily, weekly time frames, that is where probabilities tend to change a lot less quickly because of the size of the candles, right? But on the lower time frames, one hour, 15 minute, you know, that is where things change quicker because of new information rolling in. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> long time no see best wishes for you mx nick what's up how you doing man it was good to have a call the other day as well hope you're doing fine as well and maybe have some holiday now um so i hope you're doing good in your work as well uh Perseo, good morning how you doing good morning morning uh good to have you here as well trans nari what's up matthias good morning radiant jumper could you look at bsv yeah we're going to do a uh, poll now um so that is what we're gonna do can you check soul yes that's what we so we're gonna launch a poll <laughs> papa, la, papa is uh papa is being a uh, uh an admin here okay so what we're gonna do is set this up uh so what is the website i always use sometimes i forget straw there we go straw poll what altcoins do we do what altcoins do we what was a, do we okay something like this no um add no paste answers okay one two three let me know in the chat so we have sol i'm gonna type and you guys are gonna write as well so we have sol here we have bsv here let me know Vet, ETH, 
Give it to me. Ada, only one, of course. If you see it on the... Wait, if you see this, if you see your coin on here already, then don't say it again, okay? Uh, E-G-L-D. Uh, B-S-V, B-C-H, Ways, Rose. Ada already in there. Iota, M-K... Uh, wait, Matic and M-K... I don't know. Uh, H-Bar, Neon. By the way, Mac Burger, Avax. Okay. What's up, uh... Mac Burger, how you doing, man? BSV to AK, yeah, I'm gonna check. Wait, is BSV in? Oh, yeah, it's twice. I'm, I will recheck it. Uh, Avax is an interesting spot. Channel low, golden pocket. Okay, so Avax in here as well, right? Um, KSM, was KSM in there? No. Uh, Azero, Matic, Link, Caspa. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put a vote on, right? And then people can just, they can just vote. And then after a couple of minutes, we'll see where we're at. Uh, the comp XRP, <laughs> I, uh, quant. Let me check if there's doubles in here. You guys have eyes as well. So if there's a double in here, you gotta, you know, feel free to notify me and I'll remove the double. But I don't, because of course, when, when people are voting, they, they, uh, we want them to vote. All, all the votes should go to one, like one soul, not two souls. Uh, I think quant and QNT is the same, no? And also it doesn't matter because you guys are voting. So if, if one coin would be in here twice, it's going to be worse for the people that actually want that one to be covered because you have the audience being divided over two separate votes, which doesn't help, right? I think quant and QNT is the same thing, no? Quantum, QNT, quant, yeah, it is. Okay, looks good, no? Uh, what we're going to do is allow selection of multiple options. So you can select multiple things, no? And then you click on vote. Um, and you can just vote once because else we're going to get, uh, you know, else we're going to get uh, get problems. So I'm going to create a poll. I'm going to share, copy. Okay. There we go. You guys know what to do, and I'm going to check the results. And you will click those nice juicy buttons here and get your vote in. And then uh, we'll see. Let's, uh, let, what shall we do? Put a timer on. Timer. Uh, whoa, 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 five minutes is, that's a bit long. Let's use a timer of, uh, what shall we do? Like, come on, everyone is here. Two minutes. No? Start. Let me also make the voting... Oh. Wait, this is always so annoying. I can't I can't click on it now. Someone write something. <laughs> Please. Uh thank you. Oh yeah, if you want anything wait, why is this not a link? If you want me to add anything, then uh of course just send a message. Because I can, while people are voting, I can just add it and uh, add another option. Oh, if you add it via copy, no, no, no. Then we do this, add option, ta-da, and then save. Nice. I actually want my, uh, why, why can't I even put my own... Can, you guys can't click that link, can you? Yes, you can. Okay. Oh, interesting. It's interesting how the one posting it, being me, is <laughs> not able. I can't can't do anything with it. Uh, Link is in, link is in. What's up, you sport, by the way? How are you doing? Um, thanks for the feedback, everyone. Thanks for uh, reacting. Okay, well, I mean, that's interesting. So how many minutes? Oh, we have 20 seconds left. Okay, Jisao, by the way, welcome. That is your first message here ever, I believe. 
Um, I, I tend to remember who has been here before. Uh, Machine about YouTube, by the way. Thanks for... Uh, sorry for your ears. There you go. Very nice. While the local probabilities might play out as well, taking the low. No? <clears throat> um, okay, cool. So let's have a look at the results. I, yeah, I'm sorry. Hopefully your your sound wasn't too too loud. Um, yeah. Oops. Next trade: forty two eight, forty two four, forty two seven. Uh, forty two eight. That's where it is now. Forty two four. That's the target box. Forty two seven. That would be a little a bounce to the upside. Okay. While uh, price is moving, let's have a look then, shall we? Uh, Solana, Matic, that's an interesting link. ETH, oh, okay, let's, uh, I'm gonna move. Okay. So, we're gonna go to Sol USD. While Solana is moving to the downside, that's interesting, no? And we are moving to a daily time frame weekly time frame i do have some analysis or wait not on this soul chart one second here i need this one is it this one wait who's the dario i think dario asked me a few days ago to check soul as well one second here dario No, what was it? He asked me a question in uh, feedback. It was about. Oh no, it was Ada. Okay, never mind. Uh, someone, someone asked me a question about uh, Solana as well, um, and here we are. We finally reached the monthly level. Okay, so. This is a bit higher time frame stuff, right? But we had the macro impulse here, potentially low in, right? Where we're then looking for a move up. The low is then in between the 0618 and the 1 fib time from the low to the high, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Where here we are looking for bullish continuation. All right. Volume at least increasing during this latest move to the upside. But what we are looking for on Solana let let me first uh, before I share that. Let let me first actually go through the scenarios that we were looking for for a while, right? When price was down here, so we had potentially the low end. We were looking for up WXY exit potential, looking for a move up ABC finished, or at least A finished. We were looking for a move up, where especially this area is big resistance right for then a potential three wave structure. But we'll get to that in a second. For a bigger a, B, C still has potential, no? W, X, Y finished. We were looking for a move up. And then over here, we were also one, two, three, or A, B, C looking for a move up. So on Solana, we were looking for that move to the upside. All of the scenarios that I had when price was ranging here was upside. None of them were immediately down, right? All of them were first up before down. We also identified this area here the blue box area, including the two confluences that you see on the chart the moment I opened the chart as well, which is the weekly and the monthly level. 122, 136. Um, and I actually have no idea why it is blue. Oh, that's because of the monthly order block that we have here as well. So what we are looking for on Solana. Now realize I am on a high time frame chart, but I can go to the daily, but it's the same shit. It's just a different different time frame. What we are going to be looking for is a range. Because as price is pushing on volume to the upside, if we are looking and at the moment, it still is. Yes, we are at big resistance, right? So this is an area of potential short interest. I mean, price so far from the monthly has already moved down over 10%. So we've been talking about these levels in the previous stream as well. Now, what we are looking for on Solana is a range, right? If this is a 1, 2, 1, 2, and this is a bigger 3 to the upside, arguably we have over here a 1, 2, 3, 4, Maybe we're looking for a five here to finish this impulse. Then we are looking for one, two, three, 
four, five, and eventually one, two, three, four, five. You see how these different scenarios intertwine in one another. So what we're looking for is a range at a given moment. We just don't know when that happens because if we think about an impulse, an impulse can be very extended and we don't know how far it extends. We can take a, a simple pool here. We are already above the 1.618 right for a potential three that would be a minimum target for a wave three lower degree count here we're already at the two so yeah that's it, it's it's very quote unquote stupid of course but that is basically what i'm looking for in the impulsive scenario you're going to be looking for one two one two three four five four five bigger retracement down right after which you then want to see continuation as this then becomes a bigger one two up that is the bullish scenario now what is important here is for price to stay above the fips that i had on bitcoin just now uh pop 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 pop, pop. let's see where are we now i'll put this on as well here we go so we are looking for wave force no at the moment currently the highest probability is that we are looking for a way four because so far the move to the upside has the highest amount of volume in this trend so far right so that increases probabilities we're looking for a three here which means eventually some four and fives which means if price would move down on solana and hits this the 0 0.618 let me put the prizes on that would not be good because then it increases probabilities that this is some sort of a three-wave structure. So we don't want that. All right, so what we're looking for is at least a range, which is going to take multiple weeks, like it did over here. All right? Usually a wave four is longer than a wave two, so we want to see a bit of a lengthy range coming in. No. Boring price action. Before then, continuation to the upside before reaching the 0 0.618. We don't want to see that one touched yet. Now, we also don't know if we already start the range. We only know we are at strong resistance on Solana, right? Which is this area here, top of the box, as well as weekly and a monthly, which price is now reacting from as well. We arguably have a double top, high number one, high number two. So this is, this is basically what I would be looking for on uh, Solana. And this is, of course, a high time frame, but it doesn't really change like what we are looking for locally. Nicely respected as well. Eh? Touch down. Nice. So, yeah. And then, and, the, and currently here on the four hour, this is not yet enough information to know what, what is happening here. Right? We need more, more info to know if we're going to be looking for impulses to the downside or corrective structures uh, so locally we are now it's simple we are at, at resistance you can expect rejections you can expect ranges um, keep an eye on the uh, cvd divergences on solana as well you can download the templates here go to good to know then you have the soul template made by dario the legend himself so make sure to uh, you know put an emo down and whatnot uh, so you can download the solana template uh, but for now it's yeah it's moving to the downside but what do you expect it's great great resistance so um, what we now want to wait for is some proof of support as well as price is moving down uh, of course a bit of a range here so that's a bit of an order block as well so yeah that is basically that persio oh same idea wait in the altcoin section, Mr. Persil has been cooking. Is it this one? Uh, a, B, one, two, three, four, five, C. Yes, exactly. And your three can be a three or a C. Possible techno under. Yes. That is very nice indeed. So basically what Persio has done here is also what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a range in a four and then a five up, which could also be your wave C. That's true. One, two, three, four, five, because that's the difference, right? If it moves too far down and hits the 0.618, probabilities increase. It's a three wave move instead of a five wave impulse, which then means 
probabilities become higher to move back down again. Because of course, if the probabilities increases as a three waiver corrective, probabilities increase to go back down. So, uh, but at the moment, it move it's moving up. We are at resistance. We are looking for a range to form. Range, 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 range. One more move up. This can then be a three or a wave C. So in an impulse, you look for a bigger range, similar to this one, range, 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 another move up for a five, and that would invalidate a potential C. Mm -hmm. So yeah, your Spanish is funny. <laughs> I, 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 I can't speak Spanish. So that was very much on the blue. Like uh, I can't, I can't speak Spanish. I can, I just read what I saw on the chart. Um, LRC. Well, because the top altcoins over here are Solmatic Link, I, I don't think anyone like the LRC. So what we're doing is we go through the through the votes. So we now continue with Matic Link, and you know there will always be another stream again. Buenos dias desde España. What's up, Hugo Roll? How are you doing? Little balls, rolls. We don't know. This is a full moon short, and that top will not be breached until next new moon. So we have down trades for fifteen days. Could be interesting. I've heard about that, that like the moon cycles and stuff, and I don't I don't know anything about it. I've never really researched it, um, but uh, yeah, of course the probabilities are still uh, there as well for moves to the downside on the in this range. I just enter long position at one twenty, my liquidation at fifty three. What should I do? Initially, you should follow your plan um, based on analysis data. You know, have a strategy that that you build based on data. However. You're in a difficult scenario as you basically long the high, which is in resistance, because that's where the monthly is. There is no financial advice on this channel, but sometimes you do get these comments where I don't know if price is going to go back up to 120 and you can go out break even, or it goes down and who knows how far and you might have a big loss. One quote that is very important is a quote from the author of the book. Coming. <clears throat> this dude here, best loser wins, Tom Hauchardt. You can find all the info of the book on YouTube videos online as well, by the way, by himself. He says, people tend to be hopeful when they're in a losing trade and fearful when they're in a winning trade. You should turn it around. You should be fearful in a losing trade and hopeful in a winning trade, which has to do with adding to positions um, or closing early and that sort of stuff. Now, in your scenario, you've had a wrong entry, you made a mistake potentially, or you just followed your plan, which is okay, but you should have had a plan. So in the past, what I would have done after I learned some lessons, uh, who doesn't, is that I, if I can't sleep or I'm very fearful and, you know, I, I prefer to, to cut it and work on my strategy and my plan because I, I'm not sure if you had a clear strategy or plan. A strategy should be based on multiple tools combined together, right? Build statistics, get entry requirements, and then just trade the same shit different day build a strategy and then just follow that strategy. If this is according to the strategy, you know what to do. But apparently it's not according to your plan or strategy because you don't know what to do. So you don't have a plan or strategy, including those different things. So in, you know, I don't know how much you're, you're playing with, if it's just play money, if it's your whole rent and whatnot, but um, I prefer to learn my lessons. And uh, sometimes just just cut it but that's not financial advice that's what i personally did and eventually that's how i learned my lessons okay the next coin was matic so let me go to matic here it's very difficult of course to answer the questions i can only talk about what i do uh but that is by no means any financial advice it's just what you know that's just my my experience 
Uh, and also, I, I don't know how big the loss is. Uh, you know, we don't know what price is going to do. It can still go higher. You know, I've I've just done some Elliott wave analysis, but you 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 need you need a plan. No one can tell you what to do. That's so difficult. Um, so yeah, hey, on uh, Matic, we have hey, let's see potential bullish count here. Oh well, that's a while ago. This one doesn't work anymore for me. What did I do here? Remove. This is a, this is an oldie. So that does not work. Then you need to do this. Mm -hmm. oh, it can be a flat as well. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. uh this is old knowledge as well because that doesn't work that doesn't work that can work this also cannot work holy moly okay it's better to just remove this whole thing poop okay So we had an order block here on the monthly, which has been respected once here, as you can see as well. But this low was made very, very quickly compared to the impulse to the upside before the 0 0.382, which again, it's not ideal. At least behind the 0 0.236, but it is before the 0 0.382 taken from the low to the high of one. Uh, Okay, I don't want to look at this. So let's have a look here. What are we looking at? If I take it to the high, put it on standard. Golden pocket retracement. And here, yeah. Got to say, I do prefer. It's quite a high time frame though. So I could be looking here for an ABC, one, two, three, four, five low taken if you move back up and take the high one two three four five impulse the, the the thing is i don't like to include this in an impulse here because your wave two is very short and if this would be a whole wave four it's it's very out of context i mean look at the line chart as well look how short this is and how long this is it's not having the right look this being a four compared to this being a two makes more sense or even this being the high of a five but then you're still looking for a flat structure here so that is that would be either either from this high abc or from here a b c uh quick check here one second two Okay, that's just before. Um, and from here, a one. Okay, so an ABC flat can work. Two. Quickly checking the measurements here. Oh. Okay, the one dot six one eight is there. Okay, so that works. It's inside the target area. Mm -hmm. I see. Bearish. Because we always need a bullish and a bearish scenario. No? Okay, ABC, number uh, five. We could be, let's have a look here. When I do Elliott wave counts, you might notice I do tend to get quiet. Uh, because it it does take a lot of focus and of course i'm like speed speed working here 
so and 700 i prefer it to be on log here Pum, 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 important level, which has, oh, wait a minute, that one has been hit, wow, <laughs> love technical analysis, love volume stuff, okay, that's very nice, which means this is now an important level, if price comes back up, okay, so those are important levels here, monthly, we missed out on hitting a so we have a we have a monthly level here just just looking for a few confluences because i do like to use confluences with elliott waves the 886 yeah you do have a weekly here but that is very high mm -hmm. i prefer to use the volume levels really Uh, okay, potential ABC here. If we look for a zigzag, okay, pam 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 pam. Color code, as we always like to do. There we go. Um, and then we're looking here for A flat B C. A is one of these highs. It's questionable which one then. Uh, quick check, by the way, regarding the wave B high, pop, 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 expanding flat. Okay, so this has reached the common target area, and if we do it here, common target area of B. Of course, I'm not going in detail with the rules now. Maybe I need to put A here, but either or. I don't, I don't like to put it here. It's just that this becomes such a big structure. So, and this is a wave. Uh, it's a golden pocket retracement here as well so that is nice for both a b and a two so of course this can also be bullish but that is only something we know in hindsight so this would be your bear uh, i mean If we break on upside, we have 220. Medic targets, 143, going back up to complete the setup. One four, yeah, I mean, 143 would be very high. I mean, arguably, you're going to take the high then, if you go that high. Um, Dennis Peters have to go, oh, good. Dennis. Can you do pull-ups for us? <laughs> monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> I have done some a, a few times as well. Machine about YouTube, by the way, 67 views, 14 likes. Thanks for uh, the motivation, uh, you know. People know where the like button is. If you like it, then you'll probably click the like button. Uh, I'm not really very proactive with um, like, subscribe. You know, uh, I don't do mid-video advertisements because I want to keep my videos clear, which does mean I miss out on profits from videos, right? Because companies want to do mid-video ads. But I, I care about quality more than in video advertisements that is which are ruining the viewership of the video right it's it's ruining your experience as a viewer when at five minutes you get like a random ad or me talking about a random whatever you also like everyone knows the links are in the description if you want to support the channel bing x is the platform i use myself so uh, you guys know most of you are in this space for a little longer area of interest no so this is important resistance And this would be the bearish scenario, which would then be in line with price with a longer corrective structure. Boom. Now below, below this order block here, there is not too much left. So that's a bit of an issue, but that supports the bullish scenario where you then have a low in. One second here. <laughs> it it feels very short if this is your 
unless you get a W, X, and a Y in here. Alarm is about to go off. You mean 2 p.m. or? Oh, I see. Bitcoin moving down. Yeah. <clears throat> also, also Bitcoin, or uh, just my time because I was planning to be online for an hour. So I think with Matic here, generally, we're looking for higher. And then the real conclusion would come if price can reach this level. Um, can this be a three waiver? I'm not a big fan of. 0 0.618 is a rare target for a C in case this is a potential three waiver. So. Because arguably you have five waves down here, and that's fine, but then we have to identify is it a C, an A, or a 1. And th if this is a three-wave structure, then this can be an A or 1, followed by a B or, uh, B or 2, and then a C or 3 to the downside. But then you want to identify this as a three-wave structure. Now you do have a three-wave structure, quote-unquote, but it's not a nice like zigzag five w x y a b c i mean very messy and then five but this c is short because it hits the 0 0.618 which is a rare target for a wave c my Alarm. So, yeah. So that means probabilities for me would be higher to see more upside on Matic. Uh, quickly check the volume here. Ah, same thing, same thing. Price is moving up, volume is increasing. What are we looking for? We are looking for four, five, four, five. As long as volume is increasing as price is moving up, we are looking at wave three potential, meaning you want price to stay above the 0 0.618. What is the other alarm? Oh, price keeps moving down. Okay. Um, the 0 0.618, right? Which in this case, I mean, that's the low. Not a great low here, by the way. 786 as support. If you count this as an ABC. So preferably Matic is also here staying above the, the 0 0.6, which is bas basically you want Matic to stay above this order block here on the weekly, on the two day time frame. sorry, two day time. So you want to see continuation and then a range and then one more move up while staying above the order block here. So that's what I'd be looking for on Matic. Let's have a quickly look, quickly look at Bitcoin. What's happening here? Hello, there we go. Price moving to the downside towards the target box. So the probabilities locally played out, right, that we spoke about in the video earlier. So that's nice. Now we are at the golden pocket here as well. Um, now I do realize that we have uh, Link, Ethereum, ADA, AVAX. I mean, it's now 2 p.m. Usually I uh, would have said I actually got a move but I think we could possibly do, or at least look at uh, one or two more. So that is at least an idea for uh, for the for the stream.
Yeah. Okay. Let's jump into uh, let's jump into link. So, by the way, the reason I go into link is because of this, right? We had the uh, the voting earlier. Sol first, Medding second, link. ETH is interest. I kind of already know ETH and ADA as well. Uh, so maybe we even get to that. But uh, okay, let's quickly go to link, 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 link. Do I have something on link? No. Oh, yes. Hey, took a while. Let's have a quick look what I have here. So I rarely look at altcoins because I only trade Bitcoin. Um, but I, the reason I have technical analysis on these charts is because of uh, coin coverage streams that I've done in the past for uh, gold and sometimes for YouTube as well. Uh, very nice. Ah, so I have my Confluence folder. That's nice. I always love it when I have a Confluence folder. We are now attempting break to be break through. Hello, into the value area. Why don't I have a upper line here? And a bit more precise. There we go. <clears throat> which would then increase probabilities to move to the point of control at 27. Preferably though with a back test, retest, not a back test, uh, where once you move above, you retest these, this, this support resistance area, which it now becomes, which it already is, of course. Uh, pop, pop, boom. So with a with a solid retest, this can be very interesting as well. And we are still making higher highs on link as well. Also here, most volume. It's it's you can see the trend, right? The story repeats. Whatever coin, highest volume in this move to the upside. What are we looking for? At least a range in four and another move to the upside in five, which potentially is the case. Uh, this is the low, so arguably one, two, possibly. Three. I would like a longer four to to be part. Like this, this wave two is quite long, so I would like a wave four that is actually longer. This is the weekly time frame, no? So even longer than this. This for me is too short. This could be another wave two here, one two, where this could be a four, or this could be a small four, one two three four five. Or we could still be working on four five, four five, right? If you take a fib from this low to the high, then what do we bounce on? We bounce on the or oh, the three eight two was touched, not on lock scale though. The two three six that's a shallow retracement, but it is a way four target. But the three eight two to the oh five is most common. So <clears throat> also here we want to see price staying above. Uh, oh. 0.618 so we don't really know if the range we have here is now like if we continue ranging and we move down is it going to be still wave 4 here or are we going to be a bigger wave 4 so what I prefer to do is play safe take these fibs from this low to the current high I mean we're making a new high here um, where this is going to be your invalidation for an impulse. One, two, eventually we're looking for three in and a longer sideways four, where we want to see price react, uh, going to the 236 to the 05 area. Most common is 302 to the 05, but we are now potentially going and moving inside this value area. If we can retest this area successfully and move above, probabilities increase to move to the point of control at 27. Same as Bitcoin with the 2021 range, no? Move into the value area high, probabilities increase to move to the point of control. If you can at least close the week is still not there but if we can close a weekly candle in here and have a successful retest not like we did here this is a, not a successful one right so you want to hold then we could be looking for the point of control which then also means these fibs are going to move to the upside as well as you're looking for an impulse and then a potential one two eventually three maybe four five 
right? Four, keep an eye on the on the FIBs taken from the low to the high, then a wave five, and then a retracement. One, two, boom. That's the bullish scenario, right? And then again, the same bearish one is if we move up in three waves and we go too deep and reach the 0 0.618, which now is sitting here, but if price moves up, the FIBs are moving up as well, so the invalidation will move up. Um, and keep an eye on volume. If price starts to move higher on lower volume, we might be in a potential five, like four fives structure. Four, five, four, five, where you expect higher prices, but on lower volume each time. Okay, that was link. ETH is quite easy because either we're looking for a diagonal or a triple one, two. Where's, where's ETH? Hello, coin coverage. Which chart? Nope. Man, I have no idea. My watch list that I never watch, probably it's here. Nope. Oh, oh wait, there is one here. Ah, we do have something. Okay, I got a random white line. No idea anymore why I got that line, but we're almost there. Why do I have that line? Must be, it must be a volume level. Hmm. No clue. Happens. Uh, anyway, if we do this and we do that, Then we reject it at the. Mm -hmm. Always looking for it. Ah, so it is a point of control of this pool. Nice. There you go. Important resistance. And then we have over here also a high. Okay, same thing, no? Resistance, moving down. Closing in, moving out, not successful. Closing in, retest, moving above. Probabilities increase for the point of control. This is, of course, not Elliott Wave related. This is just other, co other confluences that I like to use as well, right? So... Yeah, probabilities are quite nice to move to the point of control here, 2613. It's just a little bit higher. It's not much anymore. And that's on a weekly <coughs> weekly time frame. Um, now, I have a lot of folders here. No idea. What's this text? Any text anywhere? Probably. Ah. Also golden pocket coming up, so that is very nice. So yeah, definitely looking still for higher on Ethereum, but from an Elliott Wave point of view. Micro, oh, that's the Micro Bear. It's not interesting. Up. So what we're looking for here, it's not like nothing really changed compared to the previous time we did ETH, is we can be looking here for like it's clear it clearly looks it clearly has a diagonal shape structure, which means you can be looking for one two one two one two explosion in a three, or one two three four five, and you move down, you get a retracement. Now this means. There's going to be, and you preferably take this low, right? Because for a one, two, one, two, one, two, the invalidation is taking this low. Now, at the moment, based on also the volume, I don't know, I'm not really looking for a triple one, two on such a high time frame. Also, the higher the time frame, lower the probabilities you're going to see triple one, twos. It's usually something you see on lower time frames, right? Five min, 50 min, that sort of stuff. So I'm not really enjoying a triple one, two here. Um, so I would prefer one, two, three, four, five retracement. After a diagonal though, you can usually expect a deep retracement. 
which is also what we like to see for a wave two, but it does open up the possibility where this is corrective, um, and we are going to be looking for a WXY or an ABC structure, and you look for new lows. That depends, no? Um, bullish for me at the moment, highest probability would be an, an uh, a diagonal where it's no problem wave five goes above the trend line it it often overshoots so or undershoots so that's absolutely normal as long as it's not longer than three and then after we want to see a move down retracing this five wave structure to the wave two targets which preferably means taking this low golden pocket 786 and then you move up However, this move down is important. The way it comes down will decide bullish or bearish macro scenarios if you get this, this move to the downside. And a diagonal is invalidated if this move continues pushing and goes above the one-to-one -one here at 3,028, basically. So if price just does this, then we're not looking for a one, two, three, four, five anymore. Probabilities would then increase for a potential triple one, two. Of course, we want to see proof of resistance right proof of resistance <laughs> gabriel is already dreaming <laughs> i see i see i see um yeah so it's quite quite easy on eth and then ada i mean we've done ada many times where is it so and that's in the last one then uh, we've done the top five here oh now would you look at that um, 0 0.669, nice, I mean almost, right, yeah, for the Twitch chatters here, anyone Twitch, uh, if we remove this for a second, nice, uh, anyway, key level, uh, I think that has to do with a gap on a higher time frame chart, very nicely respected though, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Blaster knows, he knows, he knows. Then we have the value area low, point of control, point of control, yeah. Oh yeah, this is um, a big area of interest, 114, 118. And I think the story here is the same as on all the others at the moment, yeah. So highest volume in the latest move to the upside. So what are we looking for? We are looking for four and five. This is your wave two here, arguably another one, two, maybe three, four is already in, but one, two, three, four, five could also be a smaller one, one, two, three, four, five, right? So still looking for higher. We're also grinding this resistance, ranging below resistance, increasing probabilities to move to the upside. Um, then we have the value area low to deal with, and this box is a monthly gap, but then at the high of the gap, if you can close a weekly candle in here, or at least some dailies, probabilities increase to fill the gap, move to the upside, where for me, that's most interesting, weekly, monthly. So same same thing, high volume in the latest move, we're going to be looking for retracements for potential wave force if they come. It's nice when all the charts are pretty much the same, no? I mean, it's the same, playing the same game on pretty much any chart now. This is your invalidation. You're going to be looking for eventually a wave four that is similar to the size of the wave two. So, and that's not the case at the moment. It's you only have three candles here going sideways. So, as long as price keeps pushing, even though you might like here, we had a couple of ranges ranging against resistance, eventually broke through, ranging against resistance, maybe break again. As long as you don't get a solid retracement and a solid multi week range. We're just going to look for up and the FIBs will move to the upside as well. And then eventually we're looking for a wave four, right? After which we don't want to see another wave five. And I think it would be interesting to reach this area here. So yeah, there you go. Woo. Wow. That was like speed, speed Elliott waves and, and, and charts. We've done five one, uh, five charts here. Solana, Matic, Link, ETH, and ADA, but I got to go now because I do have other stuff to do, to do and name in the chat, by the way. Mr. Name uh, came in the chat. He is new. Welcome. Good to have you here. 
Uh, unfortunately, just joining at the end of the stream, we've been online for one hour and 18 minutes or something. Yes. Um, but of course, feel free to go back to uh, to the to the beginning of the, the stream as well. Um, let me quickly read what you've been writing because as I am focusing on Elliott Waves, I'm not always seeing what's being written here. Uh, my alarm indeed did go off. Let's see, this is where we were. Ras Sim FM, thank you, by the way, appreciate it. Uh, I have too much pass and there is a classic head and shoulder. Ah, the head and shoulder patterns. Watch out for the fake outs as well with the neckline. Uh, head and shoulder to 42K. Uh, yeah, there, I mean, we are in 42K now at the moment as we speak. Do you think you can trade only with volume profile or is there a uh, yes, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. But you need you need you need a, a plan and a strategy around it. Uh, so pick your time frame or time frames and um, make a, you, you need a plan around volume profiles. So what are you going to be looking for to validate an entry if it if it enters the volume profile? and it does not go back to the value area low, for example, for a retest, it immediately continues like on Bitcoin. What do you do? What do you do if it retests and closes inside? Do you already enter or are you going to wait to break the local high again and then enter to point of control, stop loss? You know, so you, you still need to build a whole plan around trading volume profiles, but a volume profile, volume profile trading is pretty much range trading, um, but you need a plan for the entries and stuff. Uh, Christian M, do you have any active trades? Yes, but I never talk about uh, my trades, portfolio, all that uh, that stuff. That stuff that I do in Diamond, uh, I do, but but I, also not portfolio size, by the way, because it's not no one's interest. Um, but I do talk about trades and active trades. I am in a active trade. Yes, uh, that is true. Gabriel Chilaru, six hundred fifty dollar ETH. Yeah, imagine. Uh, 69,420 Bitcoin short. Now that is a absolutely legendary entry. I ho hopefully you screenshot the data and you like you print it or something like <laughs> that is magic. You, like you just just short it because of the number, not just, like no confluences, just like the number. Uh, no, should have put an, uh, a limit on that one. Um, have a nice day, uh, Machine about YouTube. Persio, thanks as well. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for hanging out here in today's stream where we also covered multiple altcoins. At the beginning, you will see my Bitcoin uh, local, Elliott Wave and other stuff analysis. Uh, the video of this morning is still very relevant for where price is now. So make sure to check that one out to get a whole overview of the range that we're in. After that, we have done five altcoins, which was... Uh, Shit, I just closed the page. Link, Ada, I think, uh, whatever. <laughs> Solana uh, and, and, and some others, yes. Uh, Matic, oh boy. Whatever, I'll write it in the title or something. So, uh, okay, have a good day. At 7 p.m. Central European time, another update on Bitcoin only. That time, right? It's going to be a video. So let's see where price is at that time. Hopefully we got some more information, but it's going to be a video, not a live stream. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a good trading day. Persio and many of the others that are in here, I will see you in Discord again. Love the love the love all the sharing that you go, guys do there as well, because I always read everything in Discord. Uh, might not always reply because I do stuff, but I always read everything because it's also inspiration for me. You know, I, I just happen to be the guy making videos, but you also inspire uh, inspire me with counts and stuff. So um, yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching, spending some time with me. And we're going to catch each other at the next live stream. And tonight, 7 p.m., another update, but there will be a video. So have a good day. Bye-bye.